I'm Stephen Wilson. I'm a partner in Graham Thompson. This is Chris Wells, who's also a partner in Graham Thompson. Graham Thompson is now 70 years of age. It's a firm that started in the Bahamas. It's the largest and oldest law firm in the Bahamas. And we opened an office in the Turks and Caicos Islands seven years ago. We are a full service firm. The firm is probably split three ways, litigation, property and financial services. What sets Graham Thompson apart from firms in the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands is that part of the DNA of the firm is public service. Uh, our managing partner is with us uh, for this conference uh, and she will remember and she will probably tell you about it tonight that when she was a feisty litigator who saw the litigation department lose members because each of our partners has left the firm not to move to other firms but to go on the bench or to give to public service. And we have a lot of partners and associates who are on statutory boards. One of the rising stars, Tony Grusho, who will be joining us tomorrow, sits as an acting magistrate in the Turks and Caicos Islands. And I've just put myself forward to sit on the Integrity Commission in the Turks and Caicos Islands. That, I think, speaks volumes for our firm and how it differentiates us from everybody else. Experience-wise with IR Global, I mean, Stephen's been a member now for three and a half years, um, and and he always had many great things to say about it. Obviously, I came in a little later, uh, but as far as our global is concerned, it is it's enjoyable to be able to go to the conferences, to meet uh, many other the members on our global, to talk to people from obviously different legal backgrounds, di different legal experiences, and of course, uh, legal experience from different countries. Um, that gives us a platform to be able to use the IR Global network, uh, especially being a small area and jurisdiction like Turks and Caicos, uh, to be able to refer clients or clients getting referred to us. Um, so it's, it, the conferences we do enjoy because we do have the opportunity to let our guard down, be able to network and chat with people. Our experience is that people do approach us not just because of the Turks and Caicos Islands, but there is a common, perhaps misconception, that the Caribbean is a small place and that we know everybody in the Caribbean. And I'm, I'm happy not to destroy that myth, but we are regularly approached by people asking for who we know elsewhere in the Caribbean. And our first point of reference will always be to the IR Global members. One of the things I can remember just being at a conference, we had a good uh, talk with Ulrich. We were able to utilize that relationship and be able to send him work, which was great. I was contacted by a junior barrister in London that I do a lot of work with, looking on behalf of a client of his for a lawyer in California. And, you know, it's, it's a great testament to IR Global that he came to me to say, who through your network can you recommend in California? and I directed him to our members in California, and he's come back to me today asking for me to make a personal introduction. To, and, and that is a value uh, that we greatly uh, appreciate through having an international network. Anybody who knows the Turks and Caicos Islands will know that the vast majority of our business comes from the east coast of the United States. Uh, our prime market is the New York Tri-State area and the East Coast of Canada. But Miami is the hub through which everybody travels to get to the Turks and Caicos Islands. And it's also obviously the hub for Latin America. We thought that Miami was an absolute prime uh, conference for us to sponsor, to showcase what we have an hour and 20 minutes away by plane, 578 miles away, uh, and the service that we can offer to American clients and LATAM clients. As, as, as social sponsors, we as a firm thought that it was important that it was not just Chris and I that attended. So today we have our managing partner who's flown in from the Bahamas. We also have one of our rising stars, Claire McAvinci. And we've decided that we will host a private dinner for select members of the group that we think that we either have relationships with or that we can develop relationships with. So 
think it's, it shows to our clients that uh, we, we not only have the expertise with relation to Turks and Caicos, but we also have a global network that we can rely on with respect to IR Global. So the fact that if they do have any questions relating to other aspects of law, for instance, if they have businesses outside the Turks and Caicos um, and other jurisdictions, uh, we can easily be able to put them in touch with somebody that we within the IR Global network that we know that they'll be trusted advice. I think it's important to note that the Turks and Caicos Islands is a country of only about 38,000 people. It's difficult to say that you can run a law firm purely on domestic business. The Turks and Caicos, like the Bahamas, and it has to be remembered that we're also a Bahamian firm, we do an awful lot of international work. And therefore, it's important for our clients, international and domestic, to know that we have a reach that's greater than the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas Islands. And the firm in the Bahamas is a member of another international referral group. Uh, that international referral group has a member in the Turks and Caicos Islands. I took it upon myself to find, for our office in the Turks and Caicos Islands, an international referral group that I thought that we would have a synergy with. And I chose IR Global because everything that I'd read, and I have to say everything I've experienced since, has proved to me that it's been the best fit for this firm.